Robin Judy, it's looking more and more like we could be heading for another round of council wars. The mayor's allies calling for a vote on Celia Meza to be the next corporation council, only to have Alderman Ray Lopez and Jeanette Taylor quickly motion to delay the vote in a procedural move. It all went downhill from there. When do we stop playing the game of mistreating people in our community? So this ain't about that. And so I second Alderman Lopez. Angered by the law department's move to dismiss the lawsuit filed by Ann Jeanette Young after the wrongful raid on her home, Jeanette Taylor joining Alderman Ray Lopez effectively blocking a motion to approve Celia Meza seated here next to the mayor as the new corporation counsel. This looks like a last minute uh, uh, drive by. In a highly unusual move, the mayor then left the dais to confront Taylor face to face. The two exchanging words and pointing fingers, Taylor not having any of it, not backing down. What did she say to you? We saw her with her. Just basically, I cut, I cut out a, a, a Latinx woman. I cut out a woman of color, DP in this. No, I didn't. This is to teach you a lesson about you have to work with us. I saw the whole thing and I couldn't believe it. And I want to know who allowed. And why would they allow her to go back there? The mayor's floor leader, Michelle Harris, a short time later motioning to adjourn the meeting, which was quickly appealed, leading to more confusion and frustration. I have um, considered your appeal and I've denied it. We are going to, we're going to, we're going to Alderman Harris. All that meaning a much anticipated vote on the controversial plan to rename Lakeshore Drive for Jean Baptiste Point de Sable never got called. Chief sponsor David Moore says democracy got trampled today. I'm sad to say that you're going to see fireworks in this city council that we should not have, that the people should not have to deal with. The mayor skipped her usual post city council press conference, instead issuing a tersely worded statement saying in part today, a small group of aldermen brazenly created a spectacle and did a disservice to their constituents instead of raising their concerns through the appropriate forum. The city council will reconvene Friday afternoon. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel.